This is your math lesson for April 26, 2021. You will need your math book, pencil eraser, and a pair of scissors. Please turn to page 369A. Cut out the bottom rectangle first, then cut on the dotted lines to make four rectangles. Wait to cut out the top rectangle. So only cut out the bottom rectangle, then cut on the dotted lines. Turn to page 369. Use your rectangles to make the whole shape. Count the equal parts. What unit fraction of the whole shape is one of the rectangles? So the colored rectangles that you just cut out, fit them inside of this rectangle. They're not allowed to hang outside the edges. How many equal parts are there inside of this rectangle? Yes, there are four equal parts. What is one of those parts called? It is called one of four pieces. The unit fraction is one-fourth. Now use the colored rectangles to fill this rectangle. You will not use all four pieces this time. You're only going to use some of the pieces. Make sure they fit perfectly and don't hang outside of the rectangle lines. Now how many equal parts are there? It's not four anymore. You couldn't fit all four. How many is it? So the unit fraction is one over the number that's in here. One of the blank pieces is one blank. And the bottom rectangle. Fill this with colored rectangles that you cut out. You will not use all four of them. You'll, you'll only use some of them. Make sure they don't hang outside of the black lines. How many parts did you use to fill this? It's not four equal parts anymore. How many is it? The unit fraction is one of the parts that you used to fill this. One over what? What was the total number of parts? That goes on the bottom. If you're not sure what I'm talking about yet, Wait for class today and I'll talk to you about it. We'll work on it together, but tr do your best and try because you can always erase it during class if you find out that you misunderstood. Turn to page 370. Explore unit fractions continued. Use your triangles from page 369A to make a whole shape like the model shown. So now they do want you to go back and cut out the top rectangle, then cut on all of the dotted lines, and you'll have a whole bunch of triangles. And they want you to make this shape on your table. It's not going to fit on your book. You'll just make it on the table. Now, how many equal parts are inside of this whole shape? Write the total number of equal parts. The blue triangle is what part of the whole shape? It's one over the total number of pieces. It's one blank. Write the fraction in here, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll fix it in class, but do what you can in pencil and we can always erase. Number five, there are blank equal parts in the whole shape, so make it on the table with your shapes. Count all the equal parts and write the number. The blue triangle is just one of those parts. One over, what was the total? Number six, there are blank equal parts in the whole shape, so make yours out here. And write the number, the total number of pieces that you used. The blue triangle is one blank of the whole shape. One over what? How many total pieces are there? Number seven, there are blank equal parts in the whole shape. 
the blue triangle is one blank of the whole shape. There are blank equal parts in the whole shape. The blue triangle is, you could write it different ways. You could write one out of blank pieces or two out of blank pieces. That's a little bit tricky and we will talk about it in class. Now, if you would like a little more help with this, you can look back at page 367 and it shows you what fractions look like. One of three pieces is called one-third. Three of four pieces is called three-fourths. One of two pieces is called one-half. One of six pieces is called one-sixth. So you're free to look at this in your book, of course.